All right, welcome everybody. Uh, sorry for the extended hiatus. I just <laughs> been really busy with family and work and everything. Uh, but I wanted to get some more recordings on the channel and get you guys some content. So, um, what today's uh, what today's video is going to be about is going to be uh, a, not just a spending guide, but a bundle guide. So, um, like I said in my previous videos, I'm going to be ramping up to T5 here very shortly. Um, that being said, I wanted to be as cost efficient as possible, and it seems like. Uh, you know buying the bundles is where the the value is especially when it comes to the fact that you need uh, not only gems but you need uh, your resources certainly you also need speed rush and then also once you get to t5 you also need the resources and the ability to train up your troops pretty fast I mean you want to get the reward for getting t5 uh, unlocked to begin with and be able to use it on the field so um, Certainly, training training type things like the the five thousand and the twenty thousand uh, army reserves is a big deal. Um, you know, there's tons of stuff that we need once we get to T five. Not only just getting to T five. So, uh, with that being said, I wanted to do a quick spending guide again. This is for Rise of Civilizations. All my content on my channel is going to be for Rise of Civilizations. So, um, generally, don't even think about saying it, but. Um, I'd like to go over some of the guides, and I've put together, <laughs> put together some, uh, some cards here, and I went through and did all the math. Um, and if I was a better person, I'd probably put it in a spreadsheet for y'all, but I just don't have the time for that. So I'm gonna go over it on the video. I'll, I'll definitely put the co the uh, content of my math in uh, the description below, so you have it to, to refer back to whenever you need to. Um, but uh, I, it took me about an hour to go through all the different bundles and add all the purchases up and and all those different things so uh, with that being said let's jump right in and in previous uh, in previous video we've kind of gone over which bundles are really good and which bundles have a little work to do um, definitely on the super value bundle if you haven't already purchased King's Coronation I would definitely do that it's a one-time purchase you get a lot more value for your money um, and I would definitely do that one I I already did that. <laughs> um, I was playing catch up from the get go on this server, so I had to get every advantage that I could. Uh, so I went ahead and purchased King's Coronation and got that knocked out of the way pretty quickly, and that helped me ramp up towards my T4 um, within a month, month and a half. So uh, that was very helpful to get me there. Assuming you've already done that, because most people, if they're going to put money into the game, that's where they've put their money uh, into, then you've got your daily resource packs. And Again, I think it's pretty common uh, knowledge or, or just conventional wisdom that City of Hope is going to be your best value because of the not only the amount of speed ups, but you get the most uh, resource cards um, for each purchase as well. And I'll break down the numbers for you so you can see what that means. Uh, as far as VIP points, which is another big deal when you're going to T5, you want to be on that, that uh, VIP 14, VIP 15 just because you can purchase those uh, army reserve cards and you can also purchase uh, legendary sculptures with your gems going forward because it's not just having T5 but it's also having really powerful commanders to to power those uh, armies so uh, that's a big part of what you're going to be doing on the battlefield in Ark of Osiris which we just did yesterday it was a total blast uh, I completely forgot to hit the record button on it so I'm kicking myself for that it was a really good battle um, you can visit Legend Ronnie's channel to, to see the full battle. He streamed it live. Um, next time I'll make sure to hit the record button uh, like I did the first time. But uh, let's jump into this. So uh, again, City of Hope, that's the one I'm going to buy every single time if I've got money to put into the game because all the other ones just don't have as much value. Um, I know that this one has the lowest value from a, a sticker, like the 605% versus all the other ones. But just from getting to t5 and getting your buildings leveled up and getting enough resources to level all that stuff up this is the best value so um i've already done one or two days worth of this purchase but i've built it all the way up um to the 99 dollars one and i purchased all three of that 99 dollars one too so uh i'm gonna do that probably one more time i think i'll probably need it one more time based off my calculations to get to t5 and I think I'm going to do that on uh, Ronnie's live stream today. So uh, we'll see what he says about that. I'm not sure if he wants to take a piece of his live stream and dedicate it to that, but we'll see. Um, so City of Hope, 
Um, you can you, there's tons of videos out there that have each one broken down, and you can read it and and all that stuff. But I wanted to give you the totals because that's if you're if you're going for T5, that's really what you need. Is how much if I buy all of them, um, you're going to get. And the totals that I calculated were not purchasing the hundred dollar one twice uh, or three times. I'm sorry, so two more times because you can buy the top one three times. Um, it's just from five dollars to a hundred dollars. That's the the total that I'm going to give you. If you if you purchase the second and third ninety nine ninety nine one, um, I'll give you that uh, that math too. So uh, just to get from five to a hundred, it's forty five. And this is for almost all of them. In fact, I think it is for all of them. Yeah. So to get to get uh, from five dollars to a hundred dollars, you get forty five thousand gems. It's forty four thousand eight hundred. So forty five thousand. Uh, and that's from zero, from five dollars to a hundred on all these packs here. Um, you also get thirteen thousand five hundred and twenty-five VIP points, which do stack up, uh, especially if you're buying quite a few of them. Um, and again, the higher you go, the more value you get per dollar uh, for for those items. I think it's two hundred um, two hundred gems per dollar uh, to start off with, and it escalates to about two hundred and fifty gems per dollar. Um, uh, as far as food and wood, you get 40 million food and wood from 5 to 100. You get 35 million stone from 5 to 100. And then let's get into the speed ups. So you get 288 or 281 hours of generic speed up, which to me have a, a bigger value than specific speed ups because you can use them anywhere, right? Um, you get 281 hours of that. You also get 188 hours of building speed ups. So, all together, that's what 469. Yeah, 469 hours of speed ups, and you can do the math on that as far as days go. But it's quite a bit of speed ups. Now, if you purchase the hundred dollar one two more times, that'll be another 50,000 gems another 304 hours of speed ups, another 220 hours of building speed ups, another 60 million food and wood, another 45 million stone, and another 12,000 VIP points. So that's the best value, I think, especially as you're trying to ramp up the T5 because that's gonna give everything that you get here goes towards that. It helps you with the buildings, getting them to level 25, because you need all of them to 25 to get the academy to 25. Uh, and then generic and building speed ups will help you do that. Certainly the resources, you need as many resources as you possibly can, because these T5 or uh, these level 25 buildings are not cheap. Now, again, the whole point of me going to T5 is to really get a massive dominating army on the battlefield that's why i'm willing to spend the investment because i figured i was going to do it anyway it's just a matter of do i do it over the course of six months or do i do it all at once i'm gonna go ahead and do it all at once so i, I have a, a thing about not being patient and this game definitely feeds on that so um instead of going i think the conventional wisdom is to go to fountain of wisdom because we have a lot of research speed up to do um you have to basically unlock everything uh, in, in the academy to get to what you need for T5. The only caveat to that, I think, is the amount of, uh, the amount of resources you get isn't quite as much um, as you would get from maybe, say, War Machine. Or um, even, uh, not even just the, the resources, but the amount of value you get. Because you're just getting... With Fountain of Wisdom, you're getting speed ups, resources, uh, and VIP points, and that's basically it. Like, there's no extras. Whereas on War Machine, you get the same thing: you get speed ups, you get resources, and you get VIP points. But as you buy more, um, you get the um, you get the reserves. So once you get to the 50 pack, you get a 5,000 uh, reserves card, and then when you get the 100 dollar pack, you get the 20,000 reserve card, and those are invaluable, especially if you want to win um, Mightiest Governor or if you want to power out a bunch of army uh, as much as possible before Ark of Osiris or just trying to get your army as high as possible with the amount of, um, amount of army uh, troops you can bring out onto the field. 
you're, you're going to need at max level. You're, you're usually anywhere between 280 and 320,000, depending on if you have a uh, leadership commander in your army or not. And if you have two, I mean, it can go even higher than that. So you need, especially if you're doing dedicated groups of infantry, cavalry, and maybe you'll sprinkle in an, an archer group in there somewhere. Uh, me personally, I'm probably going to have two infantry groups, two cavalry groups, and one archer group. And that's just because I'm going to already have the archers. Otherwise, I would love to just have three infantry groups and two cavalry groups. I just don't want to waste the archers. Um, so uh, you're going to need that stuff. So you're going to get, to me, especially if you're doing it to get to T5, more value out of War Machine. So that's that's the ones I'm going to buy uh, whenever I'm doing this. And again, I've already done two sets of it. So I'm going to do a third one here uh, in a few hours. I guess about five, I don't know, four hours or so. Um, so let's go through War Machine. So same basic foundation. You'll see this with every uh, with every single one. You're going to get 45,000 gems, uh, 13,525 VIP points. Um, now the resources go down a little bit from City of Hope, which is why I think, again, City of Hope is your best value overall because you're getting the most uh, resources uh, as well. But you get 30 million food and wood instead of 40 um, for City of Hope. And you get 25 million stone instead of 35 million stone for City of Hope. Same amount of speed ups, but again, the 188 hours is for training speed ups, not building speed ups like City of Hope. So that's not necessarily going to help you get to T5, but that will help you do something once you are T5. So that's again, that's that's a good value for me um, because it's it's going to give me uh, what I need to not only get to T5 but have T5 troops on the field. Um, and then again, you're going to get not only the resources and things like that, but you're also going to get basically 25,000 um, troop reserve cards. So it, there's a 5,000 and a 20,000 one. And then uh, you also get 18 million gold with this pack as well. That's one thing you don't get with City of Hope, which nobody uses gold until you get to T5. So I think I've got like 200 million gold in the bank right now just kind of sitting there. But once I hit T5, from what I understand, that's going to go in the blink of an eye. So, so um, looking forward to to using that uh, up, and getting that out of there. I'm not looking forward to using it to continually though, because it's hard as crap to farm. Um, so yeah, the training's the same. It's just it switches the type of training for the second one. You still get 281 hours of general speed rush, and then you get 188 hours of training, troop training, um, speed ups. Uh, so again, you're losing some of the, the main food, wood, stone resources to get 18 million gold overall. And again, if you buy two more additional $100 ones, so from, from five to a hundred, I've already told you that if you add the other $200 ones, it's another 50,000 gems, another 200 and, uh, I'm sorry, 304, uh, hours of general speed up, uh, 220 hours of training speed up. And then 35 uh, million food and wood, um, 26 uh, million stone, and 26 million gold. And then you're also going to get uh, 40,000 troop reserves, so two 20,000 cards, which is huge. That's That would take, <laughs> even if you're smacking the speed up button every single time it trains, it would take you an hour or two to do that. Whereas with this one, you hit the card in, you hit the speed up, and you're done. It's really neat. Uh, I'm glad they have that, um, especially when it comes to winning the Mightiest Governor and any of those daily events where you got to train troops and you get um, legendary uh, universal sculptures. Those are really good uh, to get. So that's what I'd recommend using those for. I'm saving all mine up for whenever those come up because I'm going to need those universal sculptures to max my Charles, max my Richard, max, um, you know, I've got three or four other... Uh, legendaries that I'd love to, to really get cracking on, but it's going to take a long time for those. Um, okay, so let's move to Fountain of Wisdom. Um, Fountain of Wisdom, again, it's a good value. Uh, I would say it's really kind of a 2A and 2B between War Machine and Fountain of Wisdom. Um, I just like War Machine because it's, it, the biggest pain in the butt for me in the game is, is training enough troops. I just I never feel like I have enough. <laughs> um, that helps me. Whereas on Fountain of Wisdom, uh, it's just a matter of getting the research done, which you can do with general speed ups. You don't need anything in particular. Whereas War Machine provides you something that you 
you have to be really high up on the VIP levels to get in the game, which is the, the Army Reserves. So uh, I like that one versus Fountain of Wisdom, but I probably will buy a Fountain of Wisdom as well uh, just to get some more research speedups because uh, I'm going to need those two to get T5 unlocked. But So just to go over the, uh, the, the overall from 5 to 100 again, 45,000 gems, 281 hours of speed ups, 188 hours of uh, research speed ups, because again, this is a research one. Um, 31 million food and wood, 23 million stone, 16 and a half million gold, and again, 13,525 VIP. So again, you're not, you're not getting quite as much gold. You're not getting quite as much, um, actually, you're getting a smidge more uh, food and wood for Fountain of Wisdom, but you don't get the extras that you get with War Machine, or you don't get as much resources as you do with City of Hope because you're uh, taking in some gold versus doing food, wood, and stone. So that's what that's what I would do as far as if you're ranking up to T5. City of Hope, max it out. Buy it a couple times. Uh, I would say it's probably a two- or three-day process. Buy that a few times depending on where you're at in the game. Um, War Machine, I would also buy uh, alongside of City of Hope just to get the Army Reserves and the speed ups and the resources that you're going to need. And then if you're still running low, go to Fountain of Wisdom. That'll give you research um, research speed ups and things like that to get you rolling there. Um, I also did resource reserves just because I was interested. Um, it doesn't have speed ups. Resource reserves does not do speed ups for you. It's simply like it says, resource reserves. Um, I gotta say, it's, it's enticing to do because I know, I, I did again, I did the calculation on how much it's gonna take to get to T5 from where I am now. And just to give you a little insight into that, it is uh, just off the top of my head, it's like 670 million food, 780 million wood, and then 680 million stone. And then I didn't even calculate the gold because I figured I would just have enough. Um, but I believe it's somewhere in the four, five, 600 million range because the T5 troops cost a decent chunk of gold. Um, Everything else, for the most part, doesn't really cost gold to, to upgrade. Um, that's just the resources. <laughs> so uh, these all these bundles, you're going to have to buy them multiple times per day and max them out per day just to get to where you want to be, unless you just want to smash the gem button. If you're doing that, you're just throwing money away, but more power to you. You know, I, I, I can't do that. I'm too much of a value-oriented person. So if I'm going to spend my money and, you know... I I do work for my money. <laughs> um, I want to spend it as efficiently as possible. So this is the way to do it most efficiently. Use this, partner it up with a kingdom buff, uh, kingdom title buff, and a rune, and then get your alliance to help you as much as possible throughout it. That's really the best way to do it. Um, it takes a little bit longer to do it that way. It's a multi-day process versus it being, oh, I got the money, oh, I bought this, or I, I bought all the stuff for the gems, and oh, I'm smashing the gem button. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, I, I'm not going to do that. I know I'm not. But um, anyway, so back to re resource reserves. Sorry, a little bit of a sidetrack. Um, so same thing, again, 45,000 gems, 13,525 VIP points. But there's only three pieces that you're getting on top of that. So if you look at uh, the card here, there's four pieces. You got food, wood, stone, and gold. Um, total, you get 80 million food and wood, which is a lot of resources. That's over 10% of what I need um, for just the amount of resources that I, I needed. Uh, 60 million stone and 30 million gold. So uh, 80 million food and wood, 60 million stone, and 30 million gold. And then if you buy the top two, um, Again, so the, the 99.99, two more times, that's 50,000 more gems, 100 million more food and wood, uh, 75 more stone, and 40 million more gold. So, I mean, that's that's a lot. Uh, and again, I'll put the, all the calculations with the additional two purchases uh, in the description below so you can refer back to it whenever um, you get to this point or if you just get a bug up your butt and you want to go ahead and um, rush it, uh, you'll have the calculations done for you so you can just refer back to it. But, you know, I, <laughs> is it the smart thing to do? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's absolutely not the smart thing to do. But um, I enjoy the game. This is something that, uh, you know, takes my mind off of all the stuff that you go through every day, right? Like you enjoy your family and you enjoy your job, but at the same time you need a little bit of a break from everything. And uh, I'm a very competitive person, so this 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 uh this pulls towards that and 
Uh, I'm also very much a person that likes to build stuff, so this is really just, it ticks all my boxes for something that I enjoy to do outside of my normal day-to-day. -day. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream, or hope you enjoyed the recording. Uh, I, again, I'm going to be trying to put out some more content as much as possible here, guys. I just, I, I'm trying to find the time, but it's just not coming to me. So uh, I'm going to do my best uh, to get this thing rolling, and I also want to start getting to the point where I can start streaming because I want to start being able to answer your questions. Um, I, I, I partner with uh, Legend Ronnie on his stream. I'm in his alliance, so I try to answer questions on his uh, stream as much as possible. I'm sure y'all have seen me chatting there every once in a while. Um, I want to do that same thing for my own stream so that I can um, help facilitate that too. Uh, Ronnie and I kind of think very similarly when it comes to how we play the game and different strategies and things like that. So I think it'll be kind of like a version 2.0 almost. Um, so if, if you ever have any questions, just, just uh, reach out and um, hope you like and enjoy. Uh, please subscribe if you are new and uh, hope to see you soon with a new video. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.